Dr. Gary Berman, speaking, uh, Spirit Speaks is the topic. I'm Pat Higgins. I'm here to introduce Gary. First of all, let me ask you if everybody would please turn off their cell phones so we won't be, in, won't be, uh, we won't be interrupted. Okay? Come on in. I've uh, known Gary for a while. He is a very accomplished, in his past life, accomplished theoretical physicist. He's also a very, very well-known naturopath, chiropractor, biochemist, and a psychic medium. He's extremely accurate. So, uh, fair warning. <laughs> Don't volunteer unless you want to know the answer. <laughs> <laughs> He's a very kind guy, so y'all ready to have some fun? I'd like to introduce my colleague and friend, Gary Berman. Pat forgot to say the most important thing. Good. In the first case, 
you had some type of vision that came to you. Well, you got into a deep state of relaxation, so deeply, in fact, that you could transcend your brain and heart and went directly to the spirit area and gave you the information that was there. The spirit is always there to guide us. It will always give us accurate information. It will never lie to us. You were able to do it very easily at that point. The second situation, well, you had a thought about contact and so on. You never got around to it, but your spirit is constantly listening and evaluating everything we're saying and doing. It said, hey, that was a great idea. I'm going to send out your signal to that person. That person could be on the other side of the moon, even further away. It doesn't matter. But you sent out a signal. Their spirit picked it up. It picked up your signal. It sent your signal up their spine. It went through their heart, so they felt like communicating with you. It went into their brain. They thought of communicating with you. What did they do? They got back to you. Now, I'm proposing we can learn to live like this every day. That we can begin to live from the spirit area every day. Now, I'm not here today to describe how to do this. I got classes that I put on, free classes. I do this for the public, I do it for my patients, because this is part of my purpose and destiny. And I'd like you to have a better quality of life and an easier one than I've had up to this point. But well, once I understood that the spirit was there, it changed my whole life. I don't feel very much right now. But I can guarantee you, if you learn these simple techniques, you'll be able to transform your life. Like I said, classes are free. If you're interested, talk to Sharon right here. Sharon is taking the place of Mary. Okay? Mary retired this year. Okay, so Sharon's taking over. She's doing a great job. Now, for those of you who want my professional services, see Sharon. She'll be outside for a few minutes. I won't be able to stay, but give her your contact information. Okay? Now, why am I here today? Real simple. Do my best to answer your questions, perhaps from a different perspective. I'll do my best. Your questions are important. Your life. The questions, the accuracy of my answers are very important. I take this seriously. So I have just three simple rules I ask us to follow so I can get to as many people as possible. Rule number one, if you're called upon, I would ask you to stand. Give us your first name and then say out loud what your question is. Say it out loud so everyone can hear it. That's very important. Okay? <clears throat> number two, I need you to ask an accurate question. I've had people say, well, should I buy a car? Too bad. Okay. A better question would be, I'm thinking about buying an SUV, particularly make and model, versus a particular car, make and model, for reasons A, B, and C. Spirit will give us the answer very fast. Okay? Also, I need you to avoid asking questions about your purpose and destiny. It's too vague. It's just too vague. When you pray to God, God's asking you to thank Him for what you want as though you already have it. I need no less than that. Give me an accurate statement. Okay? And then third, I need you to keep an open mind. Because the same moment that you're giving me your question, your spirit's giving me the answer. I'm trying to listen to both at the same time and keep it back to you as accurately as I can. It may give me dates, times, names, and places. I'm not sure. But I just need you to keep thinking yes, 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 so we can move forward. Because if you start thinking no, 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 I'll have to shut down and move on to someone I can help. Okay? Real simple. Now, in terms of the questions, they can be anything you want. I'm a practicing doctor during the week. I do doctoring things, but I answer an awful lot of questions. I'm not answering that. Spirit is. But it's on every topic you can imagine. It could be about love, romance, and friendship, like over here. It could be about business issues, like back there. Okay? It could be about health issues, like over here. Okay? It could be about anything you want, even your pets. Okay? Okay? It's amazing. I'll tell you some stories you'd really enjoy. But for right now, your choice. I'll do the best I can. So who has the first question? is breaking down your body. So if I go to the physical side first, even though there are questions that are causing this, but I go to the physical side and I ask the primary issue, it goes to the brain. Uh, the brain is overworking. It's getting too hot. Like it's getting inflamed. Okay? 
The issue with that comes, secondary goes into the heart and the lungs and respiratory system. Okay, so you're having troubles there, or allergies or anything like this. No, I guess. Thank you. Thank you. Because they're showing you a lot of issues coming up through the chest area. Okay. Yeah, that's second. Third, we're taking down into the gut, and the gut is fueling most of this because the gut's sending up are sending out improper chemicals that are inflaming the upper body area, including the brain. And the gut also represents the ability to make changes rapidly for your judgment. Okay, so we get stuck in an old behavior. So we would definitely want to work on the gut. We definitely want to take nutrients for the brain so you can relax more and you can allow things to happen. Now, we would take care of the physical because the physical needs help, but I have to jump over to the left-hand side. Left-hand side deals with the energetic parts, the mental, emotional, spiritual. Now, she's asking a question from her brain area. Smart lady. Uh, she's trying to create a plan. She's trying to think her way through. Guess what? Doesn't work. Doesn't work. I've said this, if we work from the brain or the heart area, either one, we're going to fail. So she's trying to create logical ideas from the brain. Not going to work. In fact, she's overworking the brain. It's getting too hot. And the brain also deals with anger and frustration. If we're not getting answers quickly enough, uh, then the brain will deteriorate into anger and frustration. Now, I'd say you go back and forth, but I'd say there's more anger than frustration. Especially for some reason last night, you're bringing up last night for some reason that you were upset about something. Okay, does that make any sense? Yeah, it does. That's oh my gosh. <laughs> 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 okay, whatever it is, it's not worth your time. Okay, but I will go back in. There's a story here. I want to bring up the concept of stories because we are all subjected to these stories. At the time of conception, three things happen at the time of conception. Now, we know generally about one of those things at conception. We know genes and chromosomes got transferred. We know that. Second thing was, if mass got transferred, and we also know there had to be an energy that moved the mass, no one talks about that. I believe part of that are the stories that we've inherited from our physical families, from our fathers, from our mother's side, going back maybe thousands, tens of thousands of years. Okay. The third thing that happens is that we are given a destiny and a purpose by God. Okay. All of us. That was the third thing we were given. And we spend our lives trying to figure out what is that. But in the understanding of that destiny and purpose lies our prosperity. Now, your destiny and purpose will never be found in a human side. The stories, the stories that we inherited, will always be found in the human side because it's a human situation. But unfortunately, in the human side, there's no God. So you're trying to do all this work yourself. Now, your story comes to your mother's side of the family. Your mother was dealing with similar issues. It's not just about money with her, but it will also be about not having enough of other things, too. Okay, so this is a story that goes back thousands and thousands of years through your mother's side of the family. I know because I had a bad one come to my father's side of the family, which got me to this point. Okay, so if we understand that we're also dealing with a story that's trying to keep us down, it's in every cell of our body, and it's trying to keep you poor, it's trying to keep you confused, and it's trying to keep you angry. So what do we do about changing the story? Well. I could blow smoke, and I could tell you that, well, you could use exercise, you can use diet, you can use other things, but I'm going to talk to you as a scientist, okay? As a scientist, when you start having an energetic problem, you have to use energy to change it, okay? This is not a physical problem. It's not like I can give her a supplement or I can tell her to exercise. It's not a physical problem. It's an energetic problem. So supplements can help, but even if she took the finest supplements in the world, she's stuck in her brain, she took the finest supplements in the world that might get her down to here. She needs to be down where my hand is. Okay? If she did chiropractic, acupuncture, any massage, she would get her down a little lower, but she would still not be in the spirit area. We've got to be in the spirit area to come out of this dysfunction. Okay? We need energy to cure energy. So, I hate to phrase it like this, classes I'm teaching. <laughs> we'll show you how to move very easily out of this area or even from the heart area and move down to this spot so that now you can communicate with this energy very quickly. Okay? That's my point. That's what I'm trying to tell people. If we get stuck up here, and even if we're trying to pray from up here or doing whatever else that you, that you would like to do, because you're a very spiritual person, yeah. but it's not going anywhere. It's not going anywhere because being stuck in the brain or heart, there's no God, it's a human issue. 
We're in the human side. There is no God by definition. We've got to move out of there. So, if you've learned the techniques to move out, get down to the sphere of error, you will see things change very rapidly. It worked for me, it's worked for a lot of other people. Okay? My pleasure. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And your mother, your mother, when was the last time you talked to your mother? Uh, a couple days ago, I want to say. you got to keep in touch with her. Often. She needs your help. She uses you as a guide. Wow. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So That's you, crazy. Right? She's like, please, please, tell her, please tell my daughter to call me. Call me. So, that is so good. That is so good. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
There's a mail that's coming up. Uh, who would the mail uh, that you need to remove? Um, Mr. Mayor, 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 you need to do with that person. So that you're free, you can help them, you can help yourself at the same time. You need liberation. Okay. So that the slate is clear. Really, I'll have to think about that because there's nothing with this one. Yeah. That well, I, can't. Again, I have to think about if there's others. So, yeah. yeah. Well, it's not the others, it's this one. It's about giving away too much, perhaps, and not getting enough back. Okay. Okay. All right. Now, the reason why I'm bringing this up is because, again, if you feel like I'm stuck, you're liable to start trying to help other people because it's easier to help other people than it is to deal with our own stuff. So I'm asking you to keep that in mind. But again, I go back, how do you move out of the heart area and move down to the spirit area where you understand this liberation and we're free from all this? Well, again, it's an energetic issue. To move from here with that story, since it's an energetic issue, to move down to the spirit area, it's an energy. And I don't know of any energies other than your own belief systems that are strong enough to move down. And that's where being trained to do this will help. Okay? So if you'll do this, it'll help. And then if you give yourself liberation, uh, then you can give the surgeons the freedom to do whatever they need to do for this next operation, and everything works well. Okay? So give them that same liberty that you need right here. She's going to change. You can take her all the vets in the world. 
and it's not going to help her right now. It's always about us. So let's be grateful to her that she loves you as much as she does, because she does. And let's give her gratitude that she's trying to help you. And that's why she's coming through the questions. Okay? Thank you. You're very welcome. Thank you. There's, a, there's an unsounding name. It's a male. Unsounding name coming across over here. It sounds like Mark or something like this, but it's an unsounding name. Anyone know an unsounding name? I'm sorry, who? Is it Max? Okay. That's the name that yeah. I was thinking about. Okay. That's him. That's him. Thank you. Okay, what he's saying, he's saying thank you to the both of us for bringing him up because he's grateful. He's grateful that he, he understood, that you understand how to help him. Okay, see him as a strong man, see him as a man who can succeed, see him as an equal, someone who is succeeding, but please don't pander to his fear or his doubts. Okay, that's what he said. So, thank you. Thank you. Okay, now, free to move on. Thank you. Please. And feel free to help me read, you know, course correct in terms of how I'm asking this. But, um, so I have a couple of chronic health conditions, and I think that's really, really serious, but something that, you know, unaddressed over time could be problematic. Um, so what's the best way to kind of address what the root cause really is of what those health issues are? Okay. Well, I ask about the truth. The truth is, I need to go into the fiscal side first, because you're right, and these are issues we need to deal with first. But they're being caused by the left-hand side, the energetic side. So let's go to the fiscal side. Okay, when I ask about the primary area I need to go to first on the fiscal side, again, it takes you to the brain. Now, the brain is not de just dealing with inflammation. The brain is dealing with infections and parasites, because I'm scanning directly horizontally through you and vertically through your body right now. So, we have infections that are going on into this area. Do you have sinus problems? Are there sinus issues or issues about headaches, this type of thing? I get my brain. Yeah. Well, they're being caused, they're being caused by parasites. Primarily parasites. The parasites are coming again. Guess where? Gut. Mm -hmm. In the gut. Thank you. So we've got to clean up the gut. And the gut is in sorry shape right now. We can do all of that. And it's, we have not just dysbiosis, but we also have leaky gut. So we really got to get serious with this. Okay? So we clean this area up. Then we deal with this area because we need to use a coil of silver or other issues that we can get up in here to clean out these parasites. We'll get rid of the migraines and deal with that. But what's causing? Well, we go over to the left hand side. Again, guess what? It's an old story. In this case, thank you. Finally, Dad comes in. <laughs> <laughs> That's what goes through Dad. Okay, it goes through his father and his father and his father. Okay? And it's going through thousands and tens of thousands of years. Okay, so there's an old story. The story goes in that there's not enough time, but it's not enough time to have fun, enjoyment, really appreciate life. So your body systems are shutting down. You're saying, I can't do these things. It's saying, I'm rude with you, so I'm just going to close down your body systems and make your life miserable. Well, we always get more asking. So you're working from that up in the brain area. And the brain area, again, deals with anger and frustration. The frustration also burns into the body and creates more health issues. So if we can clean up that story, because according to the spirit, we, all of us, have enough time, we have enough money, we have enough relationships, we have enough time to enjoy all that, we are abundant according to the spirit. If we really appreciate that and work from there, you open up everything in your body, physically and energetically, you heal. Did I answer your question? Yeah, thank you. Very welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I have a few minutes, so let me just summarize everything we've got. First, I just want to say I'm very grateful for coming to audiences like this, coming to events like this. You made my job really easy. I want to thank you for coming. Thank you for being engaged, and thank you for your time. Also, the second thing, I want you to understand and think about efficiency. Efficiency. What? We only have so much time on this earth. If we go back, when you leave here and you go back to the brain again first or the heart again first, you're going to fail. You're going to fail, you're going to fail, you're going to fail. I know because I did. And I've seen people change. If you get out of the failure mode and get down into the spirit mode, you will succeed. I know because it worked for me, it worked for a lot of other people. So the classes I'm putting on are not just showing you how to get down from here to there. The classes are also going to be how do you make good choices in the present time and going into the future. 
we know what's going to happen in the future. All of us do. So if this sounds interesting, talk to Sharon. She'll be happy to take your contact information. For those who want my services, talk to her. Third, I want to bring out that the champions here are Tony and Felicia. It took a lot of hard work to put this on, and they do it for our sake. So I would ask you, please, bring your friends, bring your families, bring people, enjoy this weekend, enjoy yourself, go to wonderful people like Pat over there. There are a lot of good people here, but I know he's really good. Go to the people in the other building, go to the seminars, but at the end of the weekend, find Tony and Felicia and thank them. Thank them for all their effort, because when you praise them and bless them, God blesses you five times more. And then finally, look, we have an election coming up in three weeks. I don't care what your political persuasion is, that's up to you. But I would ask you, please, if you're going to vote, do not go to your brain first. Do not go to your heart first. Please don't waste your vote that way. Go to the spirit area, and what does God want for you to do? Because when you, when you answer that question, then you will not only succeed for yourself, but the country will succeed too, from here. Here, no one wins. No one. So, please, get out there. Thank you very much for your